to me again. I'm feeling festive AF. What are we going to do today? Hi, I'm Deborah. Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. And today we are crafting with felt and ribbon and the glue gun, of course, because I do, I, I, I put my hands up and say, I am a glue gun enthusiast. And as we might well know, I've not mastered the sewing machine. And this project is definitely on a time restric restricted scale. Very time restricted. Because um, I have an event tomorrow. <laughs> and it turns out, um, I don't really have any kind of shawl or shrug or jacket that's going to suit the outfit that I'm going to be wearing. So I thought, I know, I'll panic buy a few materials on eBay, hope they arrive in time, and then I'll have good, yeah, like two or three hours to make this in the hopes that it actually comes together. And if not, I am going to have to panic buy something. Yeah, I don't really want to do that because my New Year's resolution was to not buy any new clothes and only buy things from charity shop and vintage and thrift and such like or ideally like Etsy sellers or like indie brands or something that's not mass produced I guess. And today we are going to be making a felt shawl shrug scarf but you probably know better than me because I'll have a title by the, for this video so by the time you're watching it and if you're watching it, it means that we have somewhat succeeded in our attempts at making a scarf type thing for me to wear tomorrow. So here we go. Also, if you hear any snoring, sniffling, scruttling dog noises, it's the dogs. They really don't care. They're never going to care. I really hope you don't either. That's just life. We will crack on and I really hope that, oh my god, I'm looking quite shiny. Maybe I should put a bit of powder on. And she's got the Jeffree Star setting powder. And do you know what? She does smell quite nice. Quite pleased with that. This is also the problem of important events you need to go to. You suddenly think that you're justified in buying the things that you've really wanted for a really long time. So we're just going to powder our faces a tiny, tiny bit because Oh, is she going to? Oh, she is. She is the shiny today. But I think that'll do. We don't have time for this. We have to craft. So let's put all that faff out of the way. What I'm going to use for this project is a whole lot of felt. Um, I've gotten them from all different types of places. I've got a few different shades of felt. I've got some ribbon and lots of different like colours. So obviously purple is the colour we're going for. I've also got some purple ribbon, scissors essential, and of course, trusty, trusty glue gun. Because I am a tiny bit of a glue gun enthusiast. What's the plan today, you might ask? Well, I've asked myself the very same thing and I am probably still as confused as you guys. I have a vision and I hope it's gonna work. With these little felt sheets, I'm going to kind of cut them into triangles. Oh my goodness, and the dog is snoring. Please stop. Please, dear Lord. We don't have time to wait for you to stop snoring. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a whole load of felt triangles and then we'll go from there. How about that? So we have a lot of felt, so I guess I'll start, start with these guys. Just cut them into like little triangles. How bad, how bad can this really be? I don't know. The dog obviously doesn't care because he's snoring. But if we just very, very carefully so when these projects, again, I always need to pick a project. I think, oh yeah, this won't, this won't take long, will it? I am going to be here all day cutting felt, aren't I? That's the idea. That's kind of the, the shape I think I want. We're now going to cut lots and lots of felt triangles. This is kind of the idea we're going for. Just go ahead, if you're going to do this as well, and cut out a load of triangles. I think these are about 20 centimetres in length. I've been uh, chopping felt now into triangles for an hour. So I've been busy. Here is all my cut out pieces of felt. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to attach all these little bits to these pieces of ribbon. But I think these are going to be too bulky. I will be attaching it to this piece of ribbon. I don't want to end up be too bulky. What I'm going to do is cut off these little ends into like a triangle. Just like that. Make a little triangle at each end. Make everything a little bit more flexible and it'll work a bit better. Now we're going to cut all the ends into a point. Simple as that. Now we're going to do all these guys. So they look a bit more like that. I'm going to crack on and I'm going to cut all these ends into like little triangles. Like I don't have enough to do in my life. So I finished cutting all my triangles. So what we're going to do is put all those little triangles into our Tupperware. I will keep them until I find something else to do with them. And on that note, subscribe! And then in the future when I do use these, you'll find out what for. Because I have no idea just yet. But in the future, hopefully something nice. That's all my triangular strips cut on the ends into little triangles. And I think I'm going to have a little food break now because I'm blinking starving. And then we're going to crack in with hot glue gun. Yes, my favourite part. It's now time to take all our ribbon and stick all our little pieces of felt on. Now, as I'm running out of time, I'm just going to use my glue gun. I think I've spent two hours so far and there's not much day left. We've got a ribbon, we've got all our little pieces of felt. I've got my glue gun ready. So the plan is to sort of stick them all the little bits on and kind of, and kind of hope it comes together. I'm just going to start gluing bits on. Little dab. Oh wow, it's a lot of glue, isn't it? Oh, I can see this is going to be a disaster already. I'm probably going to glue to the table, aren't I? I'm just going to use a chopping board that I don't usually use anymore. Take tiny blobs of glue and just go along sticking on pieces of felt. I just need to glue little bits. Is that enough? I can just kind of go for it. That's basically what I'm doing. And that's how the back will look. That's kind of what I'm going for, apparently. I think this is more what we're looking for. I don't know how flexible this is going to be. I'm going to continue gluing pieces of felt on. And I'll get back to you when I'm done. Starting from the kind of darkest colours. I have just glued on the little pieces and we've just continued this theme just getting lighter and adding some more lighter pieces here until the end. So that's a fair amount. Oh, I've got a few that have fallen off but I'll find out where they live in a while. We need to get and get this bit more secure. So obviously at this point everything's sort of quite delicate. What I've done, put it inside out with the, the nice band on the outside. This is the bit I want to be able to see. Matched up the ends and fold them on top of each other. So I'm just going to put a tiny blob of glue along here just to keep it all together. And I think I'm going to go back and sew it. I suspect this would be much, much nicer if it was sewed, sewn. But time is quite a luxurious commodity right now. So I'm just going back and just glue in a little bit here all the way along. So, quite happy how she's looking. The end of the road is near. I am going to chop off the end of this ribbon and cut off all these little tiny bits of extra triangle that's sticking out. So we're just going to cut off all these little extra bits of oh, without cutting the ribbon. And then I'm going to sew all this together and then hopefully my scarf will be finished. We've taken a needle and some matching-ish thread and I have just done can you even see that guys? Like the roughest stitch just to kind of hold everything together. With a leftover ribbon I'm just going to glue it on the top and then just glue. So we're just going to put a blo <laughs> we're going to put a blob of glue down here and then we're just going to glue that ribbon on top there. Put a little bit of glue along the top here and take our ribbon and then just squish that and try and squish that into place. Yeah, so it kind of looks a bit like that. Just continue putting on a little bit of glue on that top ridge there. Put the ribbon in the middle and just squishing it down over. Right, I'm going to continue. <laughs> look a bit better when I'm finished. Now I've done all the edges, I'm just going back round and my last little bit leftover bits of ribbon, I'm just going back over everything. A little bit of glue just to hide the last of those little stitches. 
just popping that ribbon on there just to make everything a little bit prettier or maybe just slightly less homemade looking unfortunately i think i'm going to run out of ribbon i am going to run out of ribbon actually for the other side i'll just tuck in that little bit of thread as well until we're done so here is my finished scarf really pleased how this has turned out I have to order a little bit more ribbon just to do this to do this side thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this experimental scarf making edition of crafting in the dining room at moggy box craft <laughs> i feel a bit like a fraggle do you like is that jim henson did like fraggle rock da -da 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 something like that my plan is to wear it something like this. Hope you hope you like it. Doesn't really matter if you like it or not. I like it and I hope it will go for the outfit. If I get a chance, I will hopefully get a video with a whole ensemble together for you guys and I will set that here or I'll set that at the end. Do feel free to share this video with someone that you think might enjoy it. Um, or find it helpful or even just entertaining. See you guys next time. Bye! Have enough? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my little scarf tutorial experiment. Leave a comment or a like. Let me know what you think. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye.